All this on the day we have to say farewell to the Trumps. Melania Trump came out. She gave a farewell address first. It was very sad to see this. I love Melania Trump. She is the most elegant first lady we've ever had. She makes everyone's heart go pitter patter. My wife will send me videos of Melania speaking. Just say like, oh, Michael, oh my gosh, my heart's melting. You know, she just walks out. She's so composed, so beautiful. She said something that I, I think it's, it's worth thinking about as we enter the Biden administration, not because it's any groundbreaking statement, not because it's even objectively true, but because it describes the current political situation. Melania Trump says, be passionate in everything you do. In the midst of hardship, we have seen the best of America shine through. Students have made cards and delivered groceries to our senior citizens. Teachers have worked twice as hard to keep our children learning. Families have come together to provide meals, supplies, comfort, and friendship to those in need. Be passionate in everything you do, but always remember that violence is never the answer and will never be justified. Okay. Objectively, what she's saying is not true. Right? Even she says violence is never the answer. Well, violence was the answer uh, in war, wasn't it? When, when war is declared on us, certainly we would all say the answer to that is violence, not just to roll over, right? Was violence the answer in World War II? That seems to be the only historical reference point that anybody has. Everyone's always comparing everyone else to the Nazis or whatever. But okay, let's use it. Was violence the answer in World War II? Uh, probably it was, right? <laughs> you know, if someone is, some madman is trying to conquer the whole world, then violence is the answer to that. It's never justified. No, it is justified. Uh, St. Thomas Aquinas and many, many other thinkers have discussed when it is justified. I think what Melania is saying here is that unjust violence is not justified. You know, sort of vigilantism or riots everywhere or looting or whatever. Of course, that, that's not justified. That's not justified at all. And probably this is a reference to the Capitol Hill riot. Sure, it should also be a reference to BLM. Fair enough. And then she says, be passionate in everything you do. Well, there are some places where you, you know, a little detachment is fine too. But I, I don't mean to nitpick the first lady's speech because I think there's actually some real wisdom in here. What we have had, if nothing else, for the past four years is passion. It's why an unusual coalition of voters came together and sent Trump to Washington in the first place. It's why people have had so much fun over the last four years is we had passion. And it seemed like for the first time in my life, we had passion from the, the White House. Obama in a way, you know, had a little bit of passion, but o Obama was speeding things up in a little bit of way, but it was all still the same kind of liberal establishment. And maybe Clinton, Bill Clinton advanced that a little more slowly and Bush a little more slowly and Obama a little more quickly, but it was all the same thing. It was all the exact same thing. It's all the same kind of platitudes and the same kind of dull bureaucratic technocratic language. And then Trump comes in like a wrecking ball. And that really fired a lot of us up. And we thought that was, oh, there's actually some hope that we can avoid this kind of bizarre, insane, ugly, anti-American technocratic malaise. And we got that with Trump. And now Trump's leaving. It's very sad. Trump giving his farewell address, wishing Joe Biden well. My fellow Americans, four years ago, we launched a great national effort to rebuild our country, to renew its spirit, and to restore the allegiance of this government to its citizens. In short, we embarked on a mission to make America great again for all Americans. As I conclude my term as the 45th President of the United States, I stand before you truly proud of what we have achieved together. We did what we came here to do, and so much more. This week, we inaugurate a new administration and pray for its success in keeping America safe and prosperous. We extend our best wishes and we also want them to have luck, a very important word. So he's going out on a sort of nice, gracious note. Okay, Biden's coming in. We've accomplished all we wanted to and much, much more. There's some things, obviously, the Trump administration didn't accomplish. But I will say, uh, without a doubt, 
he's uh, the, the favorite president of my lifetime. And, and he, he talked about the, the same sort of thing we've been talking about all day, that this doesn't neatly cut across into our politics. The Trump, the Trump administration was unique in our normal political regime. He says it's not about left or right, it's about doing good for the American people. Together with millions of hardworking patriots across this land, we built the greatest political movement in the history of our country. We also built the greatest economy in the history of the world. It was about America first because we all wanted to make America great again. We restored the principle that a nation exists to serve its citizens. Our agenda was not about right or left. It wasn't about Republican or Democrat, but about the good of a nation. And that means the whole nation. With the support and prayers of the American people, we achieved more than anyone thought possible. Nobody thought we could even come close. You know, I usually don't like this rhetoric of it's not about left, it's not about right. It's not red America, blue America, right? Obama said similar things. But the reason I don't love that, even the country over party or whatever these other slogans is because you join a political party to help your country. The idea is this party is going to help the country more. So I'm going to join that and support it. So I I think it's a little bit of a false dichotomy. And the Trump administration has been generally very right wing with some exceptions, but it is worth pointing out. He was a little different. He wasn't the usual Republican. He cracked that status quo for a little bit. And And part of cracking it was he won. He got a lot of things accomplished, at least the first time. And we had a pretty strange 2020, pretty strange November of 2020. And that's, that's the end of the term. Farewell to uh, the best president of my lifetime. I hope President Trump stays around as a voice in politics. I hope you enjoyed that clip from the Michael Knowles show. To check out the full episode, hit the link in the description or download the Michael Knowles show wherever you listen to podcasts.